Today, we're going to install the Koala Pieces Roller Ski Kit on the 2018 Renegade XRS. Uh, it's a great product, very compact. You can tell by the uh, build quality once we get into this, quite durable. The reason I want this is kind of threefold. One is for safer handling when you're on less snowy conditions, bare roads. As you know, I ride a lot in southern Ontario, ride a lot of uh, road crossings, or follow road to trail, and sometimes it can be several miles before you see any snow. So along with the blizzard scratcher, these rollers are going to make it really safe to actually maneuver to the trail. Another thing is you've seen them all the time, the guys going into the gas bars and their handlebars are fully cocked and they're just going in a straight line. Happens to me all the time. These are gonna eliminate that. It's a Canadian made product and it's really easy to use and we'll demonstrate that later on in the video. You know, I also put on the best carbides from Quali Pieces and I wanna make sure they last as long as I can as well. And when it's rolling in and out of the garage, around on the, on the driveway, this is really gonna protect my garage floor and the pavement in the driveway. I love the product. I think it's a great concept and I can't wait to see how they work. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the ski. So I've got the front end jacked up a bit and we're just gonna take a 17 on the outside, 15 mil on the inside, and we're just gonna pop this, uh, this sucker off. You can leave the bolt on there and just give it a little love tap. So you're not damaging any threads. And then you can just push down on the ski and it'll gently remove. We're going to remove this rubber stopper, but keep it handy because we're going to need it. And notice it is directional. Now we're going to, uh, you'll see there's a little metal bushing in the ski. We're going to tap that out. I'm just going to go from the inside here. There's a package of little um, metal plates that we have to keep in, uh, keep handy. And then the rest of this assembly comes together when you pull it out of the box. Uh, dismantle the product. Keep the pieces in order where they are. You'll notice this one has two little wedges on it. There's a little pilot hole that we have to drill to keep this thing stable. So we are actually going to slot, we're going to do this before we put it onto the spindle, the sled. We're going to feed the uh, roller ski through. If your skis are old, mine are older, so that it may be a little bit warped on the bottom. And notice these wedges are shaped to the same shape as the skis, so they're going to go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a quarter inch hole through there to the ski and then assemble that once we get it together. What I'm going to do is to make this as straight as possible, I'm going to uh, thread in the bolt on the outside. Uh -oh. Tighten that so it draws that in a bit. We can even use channel locks to pull it in further if we want, but I just want that to be as square as possible when we go to uh, drill the hole. Then you have this shim here. It's going to pop right in like that. A ski stopper will go on top make sure you put the front part to the front as so now let's fire this onto the snowmobile put that in place like so we're gonna get our uh, good quality amzo grease link in the description make sure you use my dealer code if you buy anything from amzo it'll help me out and uh, we're just gonna lightly grease the uh, shaft of the axle slide it through and then tighten things up and away we go. We're going to put the shim, see it's shaped to fit. There's a little nib, make sure it's flat across the back. And then this bolt that's going to hold the, the unit in place goes like this. We'll throw on the, the little, we've got the shim in place. You can see there, we're going to drop the rubber in. Again, pay, pay note to the uh, front orientation of this. 
We're gonna slide this over. We also have this little unit that has to go in. And if you notice, we need to include this washer on the inside because that fills the gap of where we took the old bushing out. So we're gonna hold that in place. We're gonna slide this in. We'll add more grease to this spindle. Once you've got it inserted in the spindle, we're gonna line the bolt up to the hole. You can see as we push this on, the threads back here are coming through. So we should be good to actually start the bolt on the other side. Okay, before we're gonna put the nut on the little bolt. Okay, now that, that's tight. Um, so you can see it's fairly easy to, to flip down, lift up on the ski, and it's, it's deployed like that. Then when you want to release it, you just okay, kind of pops into place. Ski a bit. That's cool. That is very cool. That side's done, let's do the other side. So we're gonna work on the other side. We're gonna push this in. We're gonna put the bolt in so it's nice and square. Draw it right in so there's no gap there like it would be on the sled. This is flush and it's up on the step of the ski. We're going to uh, drill this in straight as we can. And then we can remove the ski bolt. Place the shim in, the quarter inch bolt. So on this spindle here, we got to remove the, the bushing that's inside the spindle. It's probably dry from not being lubed. You can see that. Like Wiggle that out, then this will come out. Yeah. This grease isn't going anywhere. It's AMSOIL. We're going to start the washer. And that We're going to push well. this here. Washer's going to slide down behind the rubber, the rubber stop, ski stop. Okay, and once you get it like that, we're going to back that off so it's just on the inside of that, and then we can get the ski up. There we go. Tighten those to manufacturer specifications, and then we're going to move to the inside. Yep. Yes. Just like that, that's simple. That took nothing. That's awesome. To uh, disengage them, it's as easy as just unweighting the ski. You can either do it manually like that, or, and then the other way you can actually disengage them is getting up on the sled and unweighting the, the uh, ski, and they pop right up. Very simple. The other thing that you'll see in some videos, and I'll show you this winter, is as soon as you're riding and you hit loose snow, those things will just pop up. So you don't even have to unweight or anything. If you get into some powder off of a road, they'll just snap back up. It's pretty awesome. Very simple to use. Very easy to install. And they don't look like a lot of hardware. Some of them you see a big bar across the front and big springs that are exposed. These are very clean, sleek looking. I like them. Hey, uh, now we're done this install. You want a coffee? Sure. I'd love a coffee. All right.